Three years ago, an 11-year-old British schoolgirl put a message in a bottle and tossed it into the Atlantic Ocean. Well, this week, she was astounded to receive a reply from halfway around the world. Sadly, the reply read, You're 11? What are you wearing? <laughs> In a recent interview, Christy Brinkley suggested that football players should have special gloves connected to lights on their helmets. That way, when they catch the ball, you'll know who has possession. Read these and other interesting ideas in Christy's new book, I'm an Idiot. <laughs> According to published reports, MTV News anchor Tabitha Soren has been romantically linked with journalist Michael Lewis. Soren denies the reports, claiming she doesn't have time for a boyfriend because she's too busy pretending not to be stupid. <laughs> While in the hospital, Michael Jackson had his room specially decorated with two huge photos of Shirley Temple. But don't get the wrong idea here. Michael Jackson is a homosexual pedophile. He is... <laughs> a new book claims that Madonna once smeared peanut butter all over John F. Kennedy Jr.'s body and then licked it up. Which just goes to show you, Madonna's a whore. <laughs> An independent study released this week confirms that President Clinton has appointed more minorities to high-level government posts than any other president. For purposes of the study, women were counted as minorities, and Attorney General Janet Reno was counted as a woman. <laughs> New York Governor George Pataki this week announced a plan to cut state scholarship aid to college students who do not maintain at least a C average. Sadly, the students hurt most by these. Cuts will be the idiots. <laughs> Frank Sinatra turned 80 this week. Yeah. Frank Sinatra. And although the singer is said to be suffering from Alzheimer's, he had a typically festive birthday, singing a duet with a hooker and having sex with Tony Bennett. <laughs> And it's been reported that Keanu Reeves is engaged to actress Amana, Amanda Decadina. Asked to comment, Keanu said, what? I thought I was gay. I, I'd always heard I was gay. I... TriStar's picture is planning a film about the 70s disco act, The Village People. While the movie will be coming out next summer, it plans to wait until Thanksgiving to come out to its parents. And finally, Weekend Update would like to congratulate Madonna, who gave birth to a beautiful baby girl last Monday. The baby weighed in at six pounds, nine ounces, making it the fourth largest object ever to pass through Madonna's birth canal. Here we see the president and the first bitch. Hey, hey, slow down, you bitch. Let me catch up. I... <laughs> the artist formerly known as Prince says he now wants to be known as simply the artist. Meanwhile, I will continue to refer to him as simply the fruit. <laughs> Finally, the Oscar nominations were announced this week, and Tom Hanks and Jodie Foster are in a heated competition in the Academy's controversial new category, Best Retard. <laughs> Two 23-year-old women in China this week have set a record, living 12 days in a room with 888 deadly snakes. They now hold a place, a coveted place, in the Guinness Book of World Retard. <laughs> well, it is finally official. Murder is legal in the state of California. A down-and-out O.J. Simpson, depressed that all of his money-making ideas have failed, has decided to go back to doing what he does best, killing people.
Last week on Larry King Live, Marlon Brando made the shocking statement that Hollywood is, quote, run by Jews. In response, outraged Jewish organizations made it snow in New York in April. In other music news, several major acts are on tour this month, including the Counting Crows, Metallica, and the Fruit. <laughs> Meanwhile, with President Clinton's second inaugural approaching, attention has turned to what the women will be wearing at the festivities. According to the White House, First Lady Hillary Rodham Clinton will wear a gown by Oscar de la Renta. Tipper Gore will appear in a Jennifer George ensemble, and Attorney General Janet Reno will be outfitted by Rochester Big and Tall. <laughs> a group of Orthodox rabbis declared that other branches of Judaism are, quote, not Judaism at all, thus challenging the religious status of millions of American Jews. This week, that statement was rejected by Reform leader Rabbi Don Schonstein, who said, quote, our legitimacy as Jews flows from the richness of our Jewish lives, the strength of our Jewish communities, and most important of all, our deep and abiding belief in Jesus Christ. Things right tonight, you standing at my door, you standing at my door. I can't hide what feels so right. I'm alive with you by my side. Admitted Brinkley, there was certainly nothing uncreative about the way you moved Vince Foster's body. <laughs> President's a murderer. You didn't know that? <laughs> Native Americans in upstate New York are trying to block plans to build a Kmart on the site of a Mohican burial ground. In addition, they were upset to learn that sales at this particular Kmart will be announced, Attention Kmart Savages! O.J. Simpson was in a different courtroom this week, attempting to regain custody of his two children. In order to prove to the court how much he loves his kids, O.J. pointed out, quote, Hey, they're still alive, aren't they? <laughs> New medical research shows that men and women have different food cravings. Men preferring meat and women preferring sweets. Scientists trace this back to caveman days, when men had to go out and hunt for food while women sat on their fat asses eating chocolates. <laughs> women would be more likely to vote if they could send in ballots by mail or if polls were open longer. Also, more women would vote if you were permitted to bake your vote. They like to bake. 20th Century Fox has announced that Macaulay Culkin will not be hired to star in Home Alone 3. Studio spokesman said that it was nothing personal, but with Culkin now 16 years of age, the only way to keep him in the film would be to make the character retarded. Also this week in Washington, several prominent Democrats joined Republicans in pleading with Attorney General Janet Reno to investigate fundraising abuses and also to shave. <laughs> Pop singer Madonna was outraged this week when a tabloid photographer snapped her picture while she was breastfeeding her new baby. Apparently the baby was blocking her nipple. <laughs> Dismissed Simpson juror Jeanette Harris revealed in interviews this week that the jury is torn by dissension and is already divided into two camps, those who think he is guilty and those who are really, really stupid. <laughs> Well, Jocelyn Elder's new book, Jocelyn Elder's M.D., came out this week. I read it. 